All right, folks, we're back here at our tailgate, and we're going to be uh, making uh, some kebabs. But uh, there's a reason behind these kebabs. For the last few years, my wife and I have spent uh, the last uh, couple of weeks in Hawaii uh, every time in June. So it's kind of like an annual trip of ours. And this is one of our favorite recipes that we love to do over there. This is a Hawaiian kebab. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw this on the grill. But it's a really simple, easy recipe. All you have to do is take your wooden skewers, and then you put them inside of a Ziploc bag with some water and a little bit of oil. Let these wooden sticks, uh, you want them to soak in there for at least a half an hour or even longer. So that way when you do grill these, the wood doesn't catch fire and it's uh, easier to cook. And the reason why you put oil on there is when it does cook and you slide it out, it will slide off a lot easier. Now this is a really simple um, ingredient that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using uh, big chunks of onion, chunks of chicken, boneless skinless chicken, pineapple and then you alternate it all the way through now I would normally recommend putting mangoes on here but uh, the mangoes actually weren't in season right now for us because it's football season right now so it's not gonna work for us but uh, if you have any in your area then go for it then you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take teriyaki glaze just a simple teriyaki glaze and you're gonna pour that right over the top just like that and then you're gonna take a spoon and you're gonna spread it over all the way across it's going to give it that nice Hawaiian flavor that you need now this is a great recipe for the tailgate in football season if you're lucky enough to play uh, University of Hawaii if they ever show up at your place you can play them we usually play them a lot at Boise State they show up at Boise State a lot and then uh, we'll cook Hawaiian food for them and then they laugh at us because we don't know how to cook it properly but uh, this recipe I did learn when I was on the islands so hopefully it is close enough. Then I'm going to take a little bit of garlic salt, just some regular plain garlic salt. I'm going to cover that on there, just like that. A little bit of pepper. Of course, I've got my grill going. My grill is all hooked up. It's already heated up. So all I have to do, open this up, take my tongs, just like that. You can feed a lot of people like this too. What's best about this recipe is you don't have to prep it in the parking lot either. You can actually make these at home, place it in a pan like this, leave the glaze on it for the trip down to the parking lot, throw them on the grill when you're ready to go. One less thing you have to do when you're camp or when you're in the parking lot at a tailgate or even when you're camping. These actually do make really fun camping trip uh, recipes. Uh, these uh, kebabs here, serve it with a uh, little bit of rum or maybe not a little bit. How about a lot of rum? Serve this with a lot of rum when you're up camping. That's the best way to camp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes on each side. We're gonna rotate it here, and then we're gonna let it cook for just a little, <laughs> a little bit longer, and then we're gonna be all set and ready to go. Would you get your hand out of my face? Now, we'll be right back to turn these. So come on back, and we go kick his right. ass. My game's over. What are you covering up for? So guys, the um, the Hawaiian chicken skewers, all finished. The onions are cooked nicely, not too burned. The pineapple is, uh, is caramelized. And it's got a nice flavor with that teriyaki. Teriyaki glaze and pineapple go so well together. Yeah, you didn't so do badly. The mango would have been nice too, but he... Yeah, it wasn't in season here. Oh, shut up. You just got a bad mango, admit it. The mango in there is like a football right now. Actually, I have to admit, when I got it, it was a little mangled. <laughs>